Hey, what's up, Street Gods? Eric from there from Street Star Blog. Another episode of Random Turbo Thoughts from the backyard of Cindy's mom's house. Okay, so this is one idea I've been having lately is inspired mostly by Cindy. Shout out to Cindy. The notion is this notion of art tech. So what is art tech? Uh, art tech is this notion that we're creating things that artistically empower us. And one of the best ways to pursue art tech is this notion of plug and play. So what is plug and play? So for those of us who grew up in the 90s, I grew up, uh, I was born in 1988, I'm 31 right now. So if you're kind of about my age, you remember the early days of AOL, dial up modem 56k whatever windows pcs downloading programs installing the exe files spyware bonsai buddy and the sort and the biggest issue with technology i think in the past is it was so manual and so tedious so for example if i bought a new printer i'd have to install it I'd have to go to the website and install the drivers and it was a serious massive pain in the ass now when the app store came along with iphone The genius, I think, of Steve Jobs and Joni Ive and everyone else at the Apple team is it made the whole process for us way simpler. It was plug and play. You just touched an app, you got it or installed it, whatever it may be, and it it just kind of worked. And I think nowadays the big problem is you have all these corporations, individuals, consultants, blah, blah, trying to overcomplicate things because they got something to sell, which I think is fine. You know, everyone's got to sell something if they want to make money. However, I think perhaps us as individuals, us as artists and photographers, we should strive to find the more simple solution. For example, I'm a big fan of the built-in photos app for Uh, Apple and a lot of people won't say that or admit that or even try it out because they they're afraid that oh if I'm using Apple photos I'm a noob I have to use Lightroom if I want to gain some sort of legitimacy so a lot of it too is that people are just kind of I think insecure that they're not going to be shown as an expert by showing expert advice and really even with photography I'm starting to think more and more that perhaps photography is best if we could just simplify the whole process for everybody. So for example, shooting more with your phone, using in-camera uh, editing apps and filters and whatnot. And for us to, even uh, with vlogging, I mean, I've, I've been thinking about it a lot too. A lot of people use the DSLR vlogging kits, which I think is, is fine, but it's just so much more work and so much more hassle and it kind of overcomplicates things. I'm more of a fan of just shooting this on the selfie camera on a phone. I'm recording this on a Xiaomi 9 SE uh, phone camera thing, and I think it's actually pretty awesome. And so one of the biggest benefits I have using a camera phone, it just kind of simplifies the whole process before I'd have to shoot it, I'd have to process the audio, and then I had to put it on my laptop, and I have to upload it and deal with all the file management. It was a serious pain in the ass. But now the great thing with the phone is I could just be shooting all this nonsense from the top of my head and then I could just directly upload to YouTube from the phone and so this is much more of a simple plug and play solution and also think that there's different ways we could apply this to our every everyday lives for example choose the simplest method technique tool possible rather than the best uh, if you want to get fit maybe the easiest way is instead of going to the gym and doing stuff like that just buy a kettlebell i'm actually a big fan of kettlebells i have a 70 pounder i got at home i i I got on amazon and one of the easiest things is that there's so much friction that we need to go work out and rather than having to sign up for a gym membership or go to some super class just pick up a fucking heavy ass kettlebell do a few kettlebell swings work out your biceps whenever it may be or even just go on the ground and do push-ups or Another idea is that if you want to find housing or a living situation, rather than trying to find some sort of optimal house or whatever, just try to find a plug and play solution. So for example, Cindy just got uh, a postdoc in Brown, in Providence, yeah, somewhere on the East Coast. And rather than trying to find this like fancy, you know, house apartment thing, we're just looking for these cool, cool luxury lofts, which are actually the simplest solution is these tiny little studios plug and play you sign up online pre-furnished comes with internet and all the blah 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 things so we could just kind of fly over and we're not i don't think we're going to take a car so we're just going to fly over we're going to start our life afresh and it's just super simple because you don't have to deal with all these different things to buy furniture and all the other shit that you need and this is also why 
I kind of like wearing an all black outfit because it's the most plug and play solution, right? Is you wake up, you know exactly what you could wear, just all black everything. And even this is why I'm a big fan of the new Apple AirPods, you know, those things you stick in your ears because it actually just works. It's, it is really plug and play. All the other things you have to push and hold it and wait for it to sing, get yeah, turned on and off, whatever. But I think Apple is still the leader in terms of uh, simple UI and minimalist thinking because it just plugs and plays. It just work. It's simple. I could get better audio quality on like bigger headphones or whatever, but because the AirPods are so simple, it's really awesome. And also shout out to my buddy, Tony, Anthony, hey man, you're, you're the man. And so just think about in life, you know, even with cars, don't think about buying the best car. Think about buying the simplest car, maybe the cheapest car, the easiest to maintain. I think, I personally think the Toyota Prius might be one of the easiest, best cars to own because it's the hybrid technology with the good MPGs and you can still fill it with gas, which I think is still more convenient than plugging in an electric car, at least for now in 2019. And so, yeah, just think about more about pl uh, plug and play solutions. Let's try not to over complicate things. And even us as designers and innovators and creators, try to keep things as possible, uh, as simple as possible. And think of other fun ways you can apply to plug and play to our lives. So what are some other ways that you've been able to take a plug and play mentality to your lifestyle? Feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, so things I would recommend, shoot more with your phone, try to use simpler apps, not the best app. So even if you're gonna design an ebook, use the iBooks author. Don't, don't fiddle around with uh, InDesign, it's often overly complicated. Try out Apple Photos instead of Lightroom. Shoot more with your phone rather than your standalone digital camera. And even with cameras, um, if you have a standalone camera, a digital camera, shoot with a simple camera, point and shoot, I re recommend Ricoh GR, GR2, GR3, whatever floats your boat. And uh, yeah, let's, let's try to simplify our lives. And the point of simplifying our lives is for us to be more artistically creative, to produce more, to share more, to think more, and thrive more. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.